in my previous video I showed you how to install kubadian services on host and it's time to create my kubernetes cluster but before creating my, uh, the kubernetes cluster you should know this would be my cluster I will have a master node with two worker node it's time to create this node from my base machine here we are it is my master node okay that's it i can start this host let me turn off this machine I will turn on after initializing my cluster here we are it is my master node and it's time to pull images to initial cluster in master node is required to pull some images in this step I will clone these images into my master node but before initializing it let me create a, a snapshot okay i have a snapshot and i can pull my image okay till pulling these images I can turn on these hosts and do configuration on this host let me okay now i can change the ip address and you know here it is pulling the images and i'm configuring my host also turn on another worker it's required to change ip address and host name in this host this would be my worker node here we are it would be my host 102 so the host name ctl let me ssh to host you can see it better so the okay and ssh to 102 so the host name ctl set host name this is my worker 102 worker 102 and that's it my 110 host net plan the ip address would be 101 and so the net plan apply okay that's it i can ssh to hosts and let me check 
I have a problem here, let me check it. And after solving this problem and pulling these images, I will continue. As you can see here, it's pulling images and in my host, I forgot to attach this interface after, after attaching it. Uh, so the net plan apply. You can see my interface is up and it's okay. It's pulling the images. Okay, as you can see, images pulled and we can initialize the cluster. Here, to initialize the cluster, we are using two IP addresses. Let's see what is those addresses. You know, in my Kubernetes cluster, I have two nodes, master node and worker node. And my master and worker node are, con are connected through the network interface. My master node IP address is AT and my worker IP address is 100 one also 102 this ip address this api address ip address is the address for my master ip address and my worker node access to my server through that ip address so it is the api server ip address after running this cluster, I will have some pods here on my worker. Also, I can run them in my master node. These pods required an IP address. The IP address which we'll use for pod, this is. This is the CIDR for my pod IP address. So, I will use this range for my pod network. Sorry. And while I'm initializing the Calico, net, Calico, I will use this IP address. So let's go and run this command in my master node in my master node as you can see here my ip address is at and that's it here i have two other nodes my worker 101 also my worker 102 After initializing the cluster, I can join my worker node using this command. That's it. And Here we are also. After joining my worker to my cluster, it's time to initial uh, to install Calico. You know, here I have I've downloaded the Calico file. 
Vim Calico. Here I have a IP addresses. Here. If by default Calico use 192.108.68, but I customize my address, it's required to go to this line and change your preferred IP ad, uh, CIDR. I changed it, so I will this I will send this file to my master node. And here we have the file. I can run this command using this command. I can but before running this command, let me show you and you know, I forgot to configure the cook config file. I don't have, a, I, it's required to have access to my, uh, by this config file I have, I can run kubectl command and have access to my cluster. That's it. Okay, it's time to create Calico, but before creating Calico, I copy this uh, config file to my own laptop and also change the ownership of, of this file so I can run commands from my own laptop and now I can see what is going on in the Kubernetes namespace. Uh, as you can see here this part is running but Cordia, but Cordia NS is pending and if I look at the interfaces of my worker node I have my default interfaces. But let's go and see what's happening when I'm running the Calico and uh, let's go and see what's happening here. Change directory, here I have the Calico file and let me check before, let me check once again. Calico and I've customized the IP address of my pod network CIDR and I can create my Calico network. Here as you can see after completing running this command it created a Calico Coop controller also two Cali three Calico nodes. Why? Because I have three nodes in my cluster and it's initializing also it's created two Coop proxy pod and after completing let's uh, wait to complete this initi initialization and after that we can see what's happening to my networking. I will fast forward the video and pause uh, till this configuration completed. After some time you can see Calico is running and container is creating and uh, also you can see tunnel in my host created also in this host and the IP address range is the pod network CIDI range but I'm waiting to for completing the container creation as you can see my Calico group controller is successfully running and this is my worker one, also my worker two. My core DNS service is creating and if I check in my master node, I have a tunnel here using pod network CIDR IP address. Okay, you can see all services is running successfully and 
mm, this is the my host IP addresses also if I look at that's it that's done and that's it let's go and see what is in the next step uh, in next step I'm going to describe what is pod and what mm, how can we create a pod in our net and in this step I can run kubectl run a simple nginx pod in my cluster I can you can see the nginx pod is creating and that's it uh, everything is working my cluster created and it's running in next video i will describe what is pod and how can we create it in our cluster